Uh, but I think we should transition to that because there's a lot of conversation around Jason Tatum because so far we haven't had a single Jason Tatum game. And um, he's he's led his team and score the game in scoring so far of their five six games they played at this point, right? Six games? Seven games. Uh, six. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, one time, 22 points was the, the game high on that one. Um, and he tied it with Derrick no, White. Seven. 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 So last okay. year was five. five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, he tied it with Derrick White. So we haven't seen him have a, a good shooting night at all yet. And I think he's doing everything else well. Yeah. I think he's defending well. I think that because they're sending two bodies at him a lot of the times, he's done a good job of making the right pass. And, and game number two, um, sometimes it was to Derek White who had his worst shooting night of the playoffs so far. But eventually you just won't take him to have a signature performance. And maybe it's in game number three of the series, or maybe it's not. But it's just tough. Like, they obviously have the talent to win this championship, but – they also have the talent to dominate their way to the championship. Yeah, that's what I was curious about. I wonder what was Tatum going to do when Derek White wasn't shooting lights out like he was for the first, like, seven games, six games of this. What if they win a championship by just being this? It's po- I think it's really possible. When we talk about everybody being beat up right now, Porzingis' injury is not one that they believe is going to hold him out the entirety of the playoffs, so he'll be back maybe conference finals or in the finals. They can do what they did through the last series and through the first couple games of this series and comfortably win a championship. But is that what you want? Yeah, but it's not what you is want. Is it just going to be a Derek White finals MVP? I, I'm just asking. Jalen Brown finals MVP? No, Jason Tatum is going to get it because he'll ultimately lead them in scoring, but he won't have a 35, 39-point game. But is that how they championship going to be looked at? It's going to be picked apart because they didn't have Jason Tatum going off of 40? Well, I think that the conversation, if they win this championship and Jason Tatum don't average a normal Jason Tatum series – the, it automatically it's kind of happening as as we speak of people calling it a super team. Even J, uh, Jason Tatum addressed to himself. Yeah. So if Jason Tatum, as the guy, the All NBA first team talent, goes out to a playoff finals and struggles, and they still win the championship, then people are going to be like, "Well, their All NBA guy had a bad series, and they still won this, but in five and in six, then then hell, that's but, like but a that's, simple, but simple that's team. I'm not saying he's having a bad series. I'm just saying he's not having a, the series you want from your star. Yeah, and the dialogue also will be. He's still giving you 24, 25, Mm -hmm. whatever the statistical shit looks real good, but it's not like a. Yeah. And this conversation would also be the East was weak as hell this year. Like, there's no no real threat to them. Yes. The Bucs are hurt. The 76ers are hurt. The Miami Heat didn't have Jimmy. Like, the whole East was banged up and weak. Whoever they're playing East Conference Finals is going to be hurt. Yeah, I know. The Knicks are going to be hurt. The way Tyrese Halep, like, he could be hurt. Um, Everybody's going to just say they got a pretty much a cakewalk to the finals. Yeah, he's averaging uh, 21 points per game in the playoffs so far. And isn't it like 40-some percent from the field? 40, 40% from the field, yeah. 25% from three. See, that's 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 nasty for your all NBA. Yeah, now if they win a championship like that, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't I don't I don't think they can win a championship. No, like I don't that. think so either. Because they're probably gonna have to go against the Nuggets. OKC. Whoever they go yeah, against they, ain't they, letting that fly. Minnesota. Dallas. Dallas yeah, they all have a chance, yeah, honestly. They they not gonna he's not gonna be able to play that bad against those teams. Mm-hmm. Luca and Kyrie, they gonna they gonna tear that ass up if they For sure. If Whoever <laughs> out of the West makes the finals is not gonna lose to that shit. No. <laughs> and that's because again, when I'm watching the game, he he, he loves those stupid, stupid sexy shots. Mid- yeah. Never gonna learn. I Never mean, gonna learn, man. I thought in game two, when he did see single coverage, he got to the basket a good job. But then Evan Mobley's down there. And I think, yeah. like, the first two attempts from Jason Tatum was, like, a layups at the rim, but Evan Mobley was there to deter, and it was his misses and stuff. I see him. But I, I I see that, and I'm like, other stars across basketball see two bodies all the time. Yeah. And they still end up having great That's games. why I don't use the getting two bodies thrown at you type of dude when you're All-NBA first team. Everybody on All-NBA first team is getting two bodies thrown at them. Even the people on second team is getting two bodies thrown at them. So you just got to go out there and find a way and go get it. Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's my mentality on it. Yeah, you're probably not. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah, Lucas sees two bodies. He's still giving you twenty nine, ten, and ten. That it ain't gonna phase him. Hell yeah, Brunson. <laughs> Who else? Shea. Like we can name them. Mm-hmm. They gonna see. They gonna see the bodies. That's why you can't really care. You just got to go out and try to win. Because yeah. when you try to care, when you try to be selective with shots, because they doing this and this, I might miss right here. You are gonna end up missing anyway. And I you think we see with Halliburton sometimes. Like sometimes you can see Halliburton be a little passive, but then you saw last night. He was aggressive. He was taking the shots. He he was like calling for the. I saw plays where he was calling for the ball, and like mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, this, tally locked in. Like this is his game. But then you got game one where he didn't really look to shoot. Yep. And, and I think Tatum is a whole different player than Halliburton because yeah. Halliburton feed off of playmaking and all of that. He not necessarily the one on one 
caliber player that Tatum is. But I've seen, I saw Tatum beat Max Struess and bring him back for a jump shot. I'm like, what, <laughs> what, what, what are we doing? Yeah.